your economy seems to be going well. It's very prosperous and successful. Yes, it is. W it is. Wh why is this? Uh, of course, it's very much due to the oil industry. We got a lot of oil. Oil. Three letters, O-I-L. Because of the oil? Oil, yeah. It's uh, natural resources. Because of the oil. <laughs> because of the oil, yeah. Oil. 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 For oil. Because of the oils? Oil. Yeah, I think it's the oil. Because of the oil. The oil. From the oil. The oil. Because we have all this oil and gas in the <laughs> North Sea. Uh, for Norwegians, we, we think about that that particular natural resource as ours. We all get uh, a, part a part of it. Yeah. yeah everyone. So, everyone. Every, every, each and single one. Yeah. We uh, own the shares in the oil ourselves, and the oil companies are paying quite a lot of taxes for it. The tax rate of any oil company is 90%. 90% of whatever an oil company produces in Norway actually goes back to the government and to the people. This counter is good because they took the money from the oil many years ago and they put this money in education, they invest on people. No, before the oil came we were, we were poor. We have nothing before. We have fishing. But uh, when we they have, have uh, oil... Fishing. Very good fishing. They have much more. Norway was actually one of the poorest countries. It was very different before we found oil in the, in the 60s. It changed the Norwegian economy in a quite dramatic way. For all of my life, Norway has been rich and growing even richer. And you can see now the, the difference the sim compared to our neighbors in Europe, uh, that difference has grown. So today we have all these expectations about how much uh, Norway being one of the richest countries in the world can provide for us as, as citizens. And I think that no one in Norway really fears about losing their job, um, about um, their future. Mad. <laughs> not good. Not good. Wouldn't accept it. I would feel fooled. Like uh, I wasn't a part of my country. Like I didn't have anything to say. And that they just gave away the country's heritage. So. <laughs> uh, highly unlikely, I'd say. But uh, I, I guess that would be sort of a reason for a war, wouldn't it? You might know that Ireland and Norway are quite similar. We have a similar population. We have fish, we've got nature, and we also have oil and gas. Yes. And it's estimated to be worth 540 billion. But our government gave it away, and the Irish people get 0%. Did it give it away? Guess how much the Irish people get from our gas? I have no idea. How much? Nothing. Our government gave it away for free and we get nothing. To what, who? What do you think about that? It's... I feel sorry for you. What do you mean the Irish people don't get the, our money? Yeah, who, get, who got the money? Because who gave it? Who, who did you give it to? To Shell and Statoil. Oh, and, okay. and they get it. And we don't, with the people, don't gain anything from it. Mm. But because you guys uh, own Statoil, actually the people of Norway benefit from it. The Norwegian people get 25% of that. A quarter of our gas goes to the Norwegian people and none to the Irish. So actually the people of Norway get something. Well, that's benefit. nice of you. <laughs> would, would you like to say thank you to the people of Ireland? Thank you to the people of Ireland. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Ireland. <laughs> thank you, Ireland. Thanks, Ireland. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. So we got your money. Of money. How, how does that make you feel? That's wrong. It's That's wrong, not, yeah, because we, right. we have enough money. I'd rather give it back. We don't need it, so. It's so 
But the Irish people don't seem to do anything. Have you any advice for the Irish people? It's just lazy. Yeah, it's lazy. Now. Should really fight for it. Uh, I would at least uh, do some serious protests. They, they, they must not let the big oil company take over, as they seem for me. They have done in the Irish Sea or on the Irish. I think you should demand that the Irish government have at least over 51% shares so that all of the revenue that comes from the oil companies, at least a, a percentage of that, should go straight back into any kind of welfare program that benefits the society as a whole. Because you as a people own your country, you own the natural resources. Stand together and claim their part of, uh, their share of the oil and gas because uh, they can, it can mean a lot to uh, the future for not just you, but your your grandchildren and children. National, do us the uh, Norwegian starter. Most of it go to the people. That's a deal. <laughs> Let the gas and the oil come to the people.